holy hope. When we set out to, to build the Alpha 4, we knew that there were elements of, um, of all of our past games that we wanted to include. And with regard to the darkness specifically, um, we felt that a lot of the elements in, in Diablo 2 spoke to that in a way that was really sort of mm, the essence of the, the franchise. And we wanted to capture that again with Diablo 4. So in terms of the tone of our, the events that take place in the game, our quests, our story, in terms of the literal amount of light in dungeons in many cases. With our PBR system, lighting system, which gives realistic uh, lighting, we've gone through a lot of work to make the darkness feel present and set the, the tone and mood for what's going on while still making the combat clear in combat spaces, which is, um, requires a lot of um, careful tuning and, um, and uh, work. So from the, the words that you see and the voices that you hear to the tone of the, the content that you're playing, to the stakes in the world, to the, the darkness that you're seeing in terms of the color tones, we've really tried to recapture what is great about <laughs> the, the sort of sense of being in the world of Sanctuary with D4. I think a big part of it, when you think about the, you go back to the history of what Diablo 1 and 2 were and like sort of like especially 1 was like this notion of it, it was a kind of a cult classic kind of niche game because it was dark. It was kind of the forbidden game you shouldn't necessarily play um, or you weren't allowed to play from your parents. And you know as you look at the evolution of the franchise from 1 to 2 to 3 and becoming a little bit more mainstream where Diablo 3 I think is probably the most mainstream version of the Diablo games, that idea that now in today's day and age that that darkness or that tone that maturity is actually mainstream now. When you look at The Walking Dead, Game of Thrones, Sons of Anarchy, like it's, it's no longer this forbidden thing you have to play, not let your parents know you're playing it or whatever. And so I think this really gave us an opportunity to go back and revisit what was core. Like I was sort of, whenever I try to, <clears throat> excuse me, to try to think of it like the, the pithy way to go, like what's D4? And because of the way that the team has brought such a reverence to the past of the franchise, uh, as well as new innovations, I always sort of think of it as sort of, a, of an equation of, to me, it's the dark tone of Diablo 1 meets the progression of Diablo 2 meets the visceral combat of Diablo 3 and with the new innovations of Diablo 4 with things like open world and those sort of, and a lot more choice in the gameplay and in the game itself. And so to me that it's that return to darkness, though I think it's a great way to talk about the franchise if you're familiar with the franchise. Um, you know, it speaks to the fact that darkness is mainstream and you can be that dark and popular now. Um, but it's a respect to the past and I think it's an, an opportunity to reach a bunch of players who didn't have that opportunity 25 years ago to play D1. Blessed Mother, save us.